Hey guys, we are Sean and Chrissy Michael of Long Long Honeymoon. Welcome to a special nighttime episode of the Lo Loho Show. Coming to you straight from the couch of our Airstream. Today, we're talking about one of the most absurd, ridiculous situations we have ever found ourselves in throughout our many years of travel with an Airstream. It was a total invasion. An invasion of mice. And we were camping in one of our favorite campgrounds. It's in a national park, so it is, you know, a rustic campsite. And we camped there for many years and never had a single problem until this year. Yep, we have a mouse. Mouse? How do you know? Because he pooped on my nightstand. Is there a mouse pooping on your nightstand? <laughs> and he chewed up my tissue. Oh, he chewed up your tissue. He must be hungry, poor little guy. Poor little guy. <laughs> ah. Telltale mouse poop. I had a little tissue on my nightstand and the little tissue was all wadded up and had, it was just torn to pieces. It's total confirmation that it was mouse poop and that there was a mouse in the house. So we knew we had at least one mouse that was getting inside our trailer at night. And apparently we've learned mice love tissue paper and napkins. It's like their favorite thing ever. They will go for that more than anything. Well, we don't leave food out. You know, everything's in Ziploc bags or canisters or that sort of thing. So I guess there probably wasn't much food that they could actually get to. I'm gonna be pissed if they get into my Tabasco. Oh no. They just went to town on our tissue, our paper towels, our toilet paper. That is totally ridiculous. ridiculous. So it started out uh, rather innocuously with that one mouse sneaking in at night and nibbling away at some tissue paper. We found there was a gap in the bed on Christy's side. So we could see a little hole where a mouse might crawl. But So what we did immediately was plug up that hole. Well, the situation escalated. Little mouse droppings are appearing in all sorts of places. Mouse poop. And in my coffee cup. Look at my coffee cup. I think it's bad enough to yeah crawl inside someone's coffee cup, but then to poop in their coffee cup, I think is taking things a little too far. But last night, it was pitch black dark. It was about 1.30 in the morning. I'm asleep, my arm's laying out, and I feel something, like not biting me or anything, but just like standing on my arm. <laughs> I sat up straight in bed and, and flung it forward, I guess, and we never saw where it went. The thing about mice, in recent years, several campers have contracted bubonic plague, believe it or not, due to contact with rodents and specifically the fleas that are on the rodents. So here's what we've decided to do to deal with the mice problem. First of all, you don't want to use poison. Uh, poison will make the mouse sick and yes, it will die, but you don't know where it will die. It could die behind your kitchen cabinetry. So you've got a dead, smelly mouse somewhere that you may not even be able to access to clean out. Well, well, well. Look what I found. Kleenex and mouse droppings. I know some of you are saying, well, why not just put out a bunch of spring-loaded traps? Well, first of all, technically there might be a law against that. You're probably not supposed to go into national parks and start killing animals, even if the animals are field mice. Uh, some of you may make fun of me, and I probably deserve it, but if we can avoid killing the mouse here in the national park, I'd rather avoid killing it. We're achieving the same goal of taking them out of our environment. 
Well, I put a nice little chunk of some yummy Pecorino Romano cheese in the middle of the glue board. So hopefully it will entice oh. our little furry friend to step on for a bite. In the spirit of catch and release, our plan is to trap the mouse and then liberate it using vegetable oil because vegetable oil will actually loosen the glue and then it can run free. Okay guys, so here we are outside our Airstream. My intention with this glue board is not to be cruel. In fact, it's the reverse. They tend to run along the side of walls, so we'll put it next to this. And we'll see what happens. We're gonna come back in a few hours and who knows, maybe we'll have a mouse. Hope so. All right, so we had a very quiet night. Didn't hear any signs of the mouse whatsoever. It's the next morning. Let's see what's inside. The trap has been moved. Oh, he's there. He is. Oh. You see him? Oh. Okay, Mr. Mouse, we're gonna let you free. So this is the mouse that was standing on top of me two nights ago. We meet again, at last. All right, we're not gonna hurt him, but I'm gonna try and get him out without being bitten. <laughs> Just relax, mouse. Just relax. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, this is the real risk. You run, I don't wanna get bitten. <laughs> You know what we need is a pair of tongs or something. You alright? Can you get a picture of it? Uh -huh. Hang on. Hang on. He's getting loose. He's getting loose. No. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna pull this out pretty fast so he doesn't get loose. Okay. Hang on. Alright. We got him by the tail, literally. He's right there. You can reach him from here. We're gonna let him free in the woods. Come on, Mr. Mouse. Hang on, buddy. It's gonna be all over soon. You catch them and then you take them Jill, far too. away. It's your chance. So you're the little rascal that was crawling on me in the middle of the night. How does it feel now? Come on, buddy. Better watch out because some hawk or eagle is going to think you're all Oh, he's so cute. Up. Maybe hold the end so if he tries to run, he can get loose. I'm trying to work him free. Oh, there he goes! Yay! Yay. <laughs> we freed the mouse. He didn't have to die. So there you have it. Sometimes these little glue boards are not so inhumane after all. This mouse is going to live a long, happy life here in beautiful Grand Teton National Park. And Look at those views he's gonna have. Yeah, he's got a great spot with mountain views and I think he's already plotting fresh ways to get inside our camper. But we'll be ready for you next time, mouse. Yeah, so we caught the first couple with these glue boards and then uh, we kept on having mice come inside the, the trailer every night. When we realized it was a bigger problem than just one or two mice, that's when we knew we couldn't keep doing the glue board. So we posed the question to our Facebook page, what are some great ways to keep mice out of the trailer or at least to repel them? Deter once they've, them from joining us. <laughs> once they've come inside the trailer. <laughs> and we got a lot of great suggestions and here are the ones that we specifically tried. Uh, first of all, we got peppermint oil. Mm -hmm. Put that on cotton balls and we put that under the sinks. We put it where our um, water pump is, under our closet, under the bed, kind of anywhere where we thought they were possibly squeezing in. We got Irish spring soap, oddly enough. Mmm, Irish spring because apparently mice don't like Irish Spring. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't either, so uh, we, we hit those bars throughout the trailer. 
basically none of these things worked. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, <laughs> sad to say, the field mice at least are not deterred in the slightest no. by Irish Spring soap or peppermint oil. The trailer smelled nice. Yeah, it smelled <laughs> like, good. Yeah, it really smelled great in here for a while. It smelled like a peppermint field or something. <laughs> We were getting these nightly incursions, so we came up with a couple of other traps. The first traps we tried were these tiny little individual plastic traps. <laughs> now, if the traps had been made of metal, they would probably be a good design because the, it's a, kind of a tilt arrangement where the mouse crawls inside the trap the trap uh, tilts closes the door. and closes the door and the mouse can't get out, but here it goes. They are pretty much, I'm sorry <laughs> to say, worthless because they're plastic. The mouse has chewed, chewed up the trap. Like he, he caught him and he started chewing the lid. It was a jailbreak. Jailbreak. We decided we needed a metal trap. So we got this trap called the Tin Cat. Mm -hmm. And this thing promises that it can catch multiple mice. It says it can hold up to, I think, 20 mice. Yeah, it's crazy. But that would be a little nuts. That would be a little nuts. But we did catch multiple mice. Mm -hmm. The Mouse Motel. Mice check in. We check them out. All right. Mousy. All right, so we just came back from a pleasant evening out. It's about 9 p.m. and guess what? The tin cat has finally come through for us. We've got at least two mice trapped in our little metal trap. They can't chew their way out of that thing. And, oh, look at that cute little mouse. Oh, you cute little disease-ridden piece of filth. You had to have that peanut butter and marshmallow, didn't you? Yes, you did. Holy <laughs> Over the course of like a two week period, we caught 14 mice. 14 that mm -hmm. were inside our Airstream. Go for it. This is your chance. I'm giving you a chance. Hey, good job. And you bait the trap with whatever bait of your choice. I came up with a special concoction for the mice. It included uh, salting cracker, peanut butter, Pecorino Romano cheese. So some smelly cheese on there. Smelly cheese, and then a marshmallow on top. <laughs> it's and, like dessert and I'm, the main course I'm telling all you, rolled into one. I found that mice love this <laughs> concoction. You got smelly cheese, peanut butter, marshmallow. I mean, it's heaven. I want that too. You gonna go or what? That's our little mouse story. Yeah. It was a bizarre chapter in our Airstream travels. We survived. We lived. And the well, it wasn't funny at the time, but I had a little bit of cold while this was going on, and so I was constantly paranoid that I had the antivirus. antivirus because it starts out with flu-like symptoms. But yeah, it's definitely something to take seriously. Definitely try to keep them at bay. If you have any um, proven techniques, please share them in the comments below because we would love to hear um, what you do to get rid of mice. If you want your own tin cat to keep the mice at bay, we'll put a link to the trap that we use in the YouTube description for this video. Just remember to check your tin cat regularly. Yes. Because uh, kind of cruel if you don't. So yep. just check it and uh, the thing actually works quite well. We are Sean and Christy Michael of Long Long Honeymoon. 
thanking you once again for tuning in to our little show here on YouTube. We appreciate our subscribers so much. Yes, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It's super easy. It makes a big difference for us to know that people are out there watching and you know wanting to hear what we have to say about camping and RVing and all that good stuff in between. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And um, if you have anything that you would like for us to do a video on, you could leave a comment below. And if we like your suggestion, you might just see us on the tube doing a video that you suggested. Until next time, as always, lo -lo -lo -ho. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. All right, so we're going to play a little trick on Christy. I've downloaded a mouse squeaking sound effect to my phone. We're going to play it and see what happens.